perception. Okay, I'm going to keep doing it because it makes me feel good. And so most of the time, I make a when there are people who really inspire me and like Matthias, um, I was following initiation, but uh, I wasn't following his Instagram. You know, you don't like follow everybody that you watch a show most of the time. But in November, I think, I was doing this chakra adventure. It's like a series of conferences uh, where I invited all these people who inspire me and have helped me on the journey when I felt like I was alone, right? And I have my mentors. I don't know if you know Dean Graciosi, <laughs> Tony Robbins. You've heard of them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're my mentors. I love them like more than the universe. I post about them like mostly every day on my Facebook because when I, I had no friends, I had my baby, it was really hard for me to be a mother without help of my family. My husband was in the Navy, so never here. Uh, so I found a lot of help every day in not feeling that lonely through my mentors or people who inspire me online. And that when, for example, I found Matthias, I, I, I saw that he was reactivating all these sacred places, you know? I was like, oh, this is what I've been doing as well. And right away I saw the trip. I was like, oh my God, I gotta go to the trip. I gotta make him a painting. And I've done a, quite a bit of paintings for my mentors and the people like that who, you know, kept me alive pretty much when my life was going crazy. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. And, and so, so yeah, so this is a gift that I prepared like for the past two, three months to give for Matthias. And that's crazy because while I'm painting, there is always a process, a transformation that then shines through. Um, when you're looking at the painting, you also, all my transformation that I have worked on, you're taking the energy from that as well. So it instantly makes us all do that work so we don't have to all go through that right. thing, right? So this is why when someone shares their journey or you're sharing your art and it's so important, the knowledge, this is the information I've had, the knowledge wants to come out. Like Tut, for example, it's a little all over the place, but all coming together. So Tut, I don't know if you know the tablets of Emerald. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, the, you know, the knowledge of the initiates has been kept secrets for <laughs> thousands of years because they blew up the Atlantis because this knowledge, these uh, mandalas, these energies are so powerful that they blew up the Atlantic because of that. Like, literally, they couldn't control the energy or some people took it for power and then this is how they sinked the Atlantis pretty much. So in order to not reproduce that, they, when they moved to Egypt or the Incas and stuff, they kept this knowledge secret just for the people who were making the effort and showing proof of the worthiness to know the knowledge that they were not going to use the knowledge for greed, greed and, pow and power so and destruction and, and all this stuff. Uh, so for these thousands of years, this knowledge was kept secret and now we have these like secret societies, right? That we're trying to kind of protect, but more. And I keep receiving this call that no, now the knowledge wants to come out. We're ready to transcend this secret society thing, initiate thing, like it's for everybody now. The new generation is going to be for everyone. And um, what um, the tablets of Emerald, they say sometimes silence, don't force the knowledge on people who don't want to know because they're not ready. But everybody's here, obviously, is ready, is here for that. And the prophecy says, keep it secret until the time comes that the knowledge would have to come come back and it's now it's right now and so that's why i'm, I'm sharing about it's free on the internet on, on the pdf form yeah and thought and yes exactly so and then i have this other book called <clears throat> the secret of the ring which literally is the story of the lord of the rings that is an actual actual real story and all this is information I put on my, on my mastermind, like I, I want to share with you because no one knows this, this author, she's a French uh, author and there's so much information and truth in her book, like Natalie Cintanavich. Um, so there are these symbols, like the letters that Matthias is teaching, uh, the Atlantean letters that are on the ring, right? The Lord of the Rings, if you see the ring has letters and so she channeled, so on the movie they made like a fake letters right but these are the letters from that she channeled from the lord of the rings and i 
I started noticing that when I was doing a, a painting for my mentor, like I told you, I'm obsessed with my mentors, I make paintings for them, and I was painting these fire letters and I, I would literally be in front of the painting and I would, couldn't even stand in front of the painting because the energy was so strong. Just like when you're in front of a fire, and you know you're in front of the fire, you can't stay too close or because otherwise you burn yourself. So that was the same thing. I would paint the letters and the energy was so strong. I was like, holy moly, wow, this is very powerful. So I, I noticed that by placing the letters a certain way, placing the symbols a certain way, it creates an alchemy that also influences your life. Um, it literally recode, you can recode your reality through painting, through the way you write things, the words are spelled. You know how you say spell a word? Because the words are spelled, so it's important that when you're saying something, you use the words that you want to manifest. And, and not necessarily like this card that's saying, mani project yourself like a year in the future, not necessarily the, the thing, the, how they are, but how you want them to be, right? Uh, so this is the thing I learned the hard way because of like <laughs> criticizing things and that it would like come back to me and manifest. I was like, no, I'm just saying how it is. But no, I'm creating my reality. So now I try to speak as I want it to be. So I put the, um, so these are a little different. We have the geometric uh, elements with uh, Matthias and I put the Native American symbols of the elements for this one. So the Native American symbol of the air, the water, the earth and the fire. And I put like the, you see how this earth symbol looks kind of like a Mayan temple almost. And I put the fire on top, like during the ceremonies, when they were having these ceremonies over the temple and like uh, doing their rituals, incantations and all of this stuff. And the wind over the water, because the waves, to create waves, we're here to create, like we were doing this morning, the humming. I could see over C Siberia, like a, a resonance, like a thing elevating, like we're here to echo all of this that we're learning through by our energy or through our art or knowledge, whatever you're creating create wave and spread it like this so this is from the flower of life you can create the different seeds of uh, if this is too long I can make it short or if I can go like in details <laughs> um, from the flower of life you have different steps right you have the seed of life that is planting the seeds it's connected to your root chakra and the flower of life is connecting to your um, sacral chakra Right, and then the fruit of life action to your solar plexus, the, ch the, the stages of the flower of life, the metatrons, the heart. Because, so when you're, for example, you have an idea, it's the seed. Okay, oh, I have an idea, I'm gonna make a painting. Uh, oh, I have an idea, I'm gonna go to Egypt. It's the seed. Then the flower of life symbolizes the creation, right? The creation of a baby, the creation of an idea. So if you have a project, it's good to have the flower of life in your house or wearing something flower of life because it will stimulate the creation of the project and then the fruit of life which is just the circles from the flower of life just the circles the fruit of life represents when you collect the result of your labor the fruit of the tree right is the last thing that comes in a tree it grows the stages and then you collect the fruit of your project the Metatron's one is another stage, as I say, it's connected to the heart because it's the connection between all of that. So you see, you connect. It's like a circuit, like this morning we're doing with the heart, we're doing a circuit of energy. So this is the same, it's like a network. So the Metatron's cube is good for networking, creating friendships, uh, everything that connects. Um, and it has the 13, so it's depending on number 13, this connect it represents the divinity okay so the 12 apostles plus jesus number 13 right it's the humanity plus one the connection to the divine or the 12 months of the year which is actually 13 months if you look at the yeah. lunar calendar which is 13 moon yeah. so in the human um, mind it's 12 but in the earth plane in the divine plane, the universal plane, it's 13 moon, there's 13 months. So 13 is always this 12 plus one energy. So in the Metatron stream, you have this number 13 as well. Um, so the Empress right here, so I'll put the, 
So I was like, I'm gonna put the four symbols right here. There is a reason why they're placed like that. Then I'm gonna put the onk here in the middle, like the welcoming, right? The welcoming here and the logo of the foundation. That is kind of like the very first, 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 first stages of the flower of life. It's like the Vesica Pisces, the, the one cell that divides into two, right? And it's kind of a yin and yang as well. Um, so this was for the symbols. I didn't want to fill it in too much because I wanted the energy to flow. Then I wanted to do like a sky clock, right? It's a sky clock. It's like the aurora borealis. I know Matthias was in North Pole a few weeks ago. The dawn in the morning, morning sky, afternoon sky, sunset sky, and night sky. So it's, it's like a clock, right? And they're like portals. <clears throat> so the Metatron is also a portal. Um, so you imagine, it's like Mary Poppins, you see the paintings, okay, where, where are you going now? Okay, you know, where are you traveling? What, imagine, you go in this, there, where are you? Close your eyes, can you see where you're at? Like, I'm, I'm on this, like, snow, and I can see the aura borealis in the sky, and like a dragon coming, and, you know, you work on your imagination, your astral traveling through visualizing that. Um, it, and it can also represent, like, a map, Sometimes I see the meta transcripts and I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a map of the United States. Maybe this is like Venice Beach in California. This is like my beach in Florida, you know, and it can also represent people. So, you know, the blue represent, reminds me of, you know, my mentor. Um, this one uh, reminds me of Matthias because I know he was in um, uh, the north, you know. So there is so much interpretation. It's really what it uh resonate with you you know and, and that you need it will align with the frequency that you need at that moment and maybe you look at it in two years and you will see it differently so the pyramids the pyramids now um there is the pyramids and you see the ray coming out of the pyramids and here the energy coming in so it's like our energy is like a torus right it comes in and from you you um um, radiate. diffuse, radiate to the universe and on the other way you also integrate the light codes, everything energy from the universe and you ground it to earth so it's a double flow of energy that we have so this is also like that it's like um, receiving the energy from the universe the light codes or information grounding it to earth through our activities our connections all of that and then going to the pyramid you see you, you, you I can see like I can see it like <laughs> the activating and the light the light ray coming out of it okay so it's like a generator it's like a circuit a powerhouse generators with all the, the the connections and the gold is also the alchemists were turning iron into gold uh, she was mentioned um, uh, Mercedes was mentioning that this morning uh, what else can I tell you then there is crystals in the pyramid okay when you study uh, the the sarcophagus and the, the rocks in the pyramid it's it's rocks and granite mixed with quartz right so the quartz they are generators uh, so this is why I, I put the glitter all around it it's like the, the cover of um, the pyramids and you know why the, the pyramids are missing the top did you notice that? So are the eyes. Huh? So are the eyes. The what? It's the eye, right? Up there? Maybe, yeah. It could be like an opening, but like this particular book says that it used to be a crystal. Oh. It, there used to be crystals, very pure crystals on top of these pyramids that were taken until humanity would be ready because like I said, this is so powerful that you could literally blow up the world with it with this right like I literally swear to you that I would paint these this fire letters and I couldn't even be close to I could paint for two hours max and then I would have to get away because I started having a headache like uh, like a, a child is growing right a child is growing he gets tired weakened because he needs to align to his new height so we're the same when we have a, a growth you're elevating but your body needs time to align and adjust so it, it this is why the awakening is progressive it's not like from a day to another you're awakened it's like you awaken, but then you, your body, your life, your lifestyle, your friends, everything needs to align with it. So it's progressive. Then you have the constellations. Here you have the Lyra, uh, Canis Mayor, no, the Pleiades. 
The Pleiades, Lyra, uh, Leo, and Canis Mayor, all the constellations, and he represented so the, the skin of the dragon, right? Because he was following the path of the dragon. Uh, so yeah, this is That's everything. Awesome. Pretty much from that, but while I was painting, I would also like see comic lines from like Egypt. I mean, that's who I know that's a lot, like that's crazy. But I encourage you to go check out my my um, workshops online, start painting a mandala just to learn the technique, and you will see. Because the thing is, when you're painting, you don't have this expectation when you're doing a work. You had this expectation, or when you're painting, you do it just for the fun. It's not like it has to be great, you know? So when you're opening, you don't have that resistance. So the time stops, you're hearing this introspection work, it's so delicate that your opening time stops and you're connecting to all these Akashic records, this energy, there's all this knowledge that's available to everybody, but you have to have your funnels open, let's say, you know? And, and you can connect to all that. So I encourage you to, to try it and to do it, you know, because then you have a result. It's like an introspection work that then you see every day and that you have a result for it. And, and these are, it's a logo from a champagne, like a cannabis champagne in France. Uh, they have this cannabis taste uh, champagne. And when I met them in, in France for an exhibition, they had this uh, awesome diamond cannabis leaf. Uh, logo if you see it's a <laughs> cannabis leaf and it's a diamond yeah, yeah I see and that. I loved it so much and I love to smoke weed but I was <laughs> like uh, oh my god I love the logo like can we do something and she we were like oh you know what we should do like a special edition of like labels on the champagne or something like that and then I started this collection of 13 to do like the 13 crystal skulls the legend of the 13 okay. crystal skulls and so yeah this is a special collection <clears throat> of 13 that i'm starting with all these teams of like uh atlantean you know blue sapphire and water energy thought the solar plexus this one is from um resonance science foundation i interviewed the uh astrophysicist from the resonance science foundation as well so just a few recommendations <clears throat> the for you guys to follow that can help you if you follow initiation gaia tv you can also follow Resonance Science Foundation, um, because they put all this magical stuff, energy stuff, into science, into words. They prove that electrons and electron is linked to an electron on the other side of the world. So this is why we have this access to Akashic Records. So if you have skeptical people around you, which for me has been the hardest, when you have all these ideas and you tell it to someone, you're so excited, you're like, oh my God, like I'm so excited. And then you have people that are like, I think you smoke too much. No, I think you're crazy. No, I, you know, okay, yeah, that's great. But you know, you need to pay your bills. Like, you know, it's just like constantly having people like cutting you off. This is what kills humanity, the creativity and innovation, because we don't welcome the new ideas. We want what's comfortable for us. So the Resonance Foundation, my mentors, Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, because they are the ones who really every day were like, don't listen to the naysayers. This is your passion. Like continue doing this. Continue all the time. So for all of you that are light workers and light workers, they're not always supported. You, you need to have. If you don't have the friends, maybe you do, and that's great. But if you don't, find a mentor. It's okay to have a mentor, someone who pushes you. You know, and um, having the references also to prove all that. And yeah, thank you for listening, everybody. <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. Thank Very you. Very beautiful. <laughs> Stunning. This is the core book for the secret. Josiah. Yeah, there's many, yeah. <laughs> many. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, you look so you comfortable. Don't all, I'm super <laughs> yeah. comfortable. You don't have oh, yeah, yet. no, she's uh, anonymous. But, uh, anonymous. Okay. Uh, you tap uh, 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 Yeah, and yes. my birthday's on the 18th, and my spiritual name is Goldie. <laughs> Did you all get a Golden card? Soul. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's upside down. Cool. No, I, I think I didn't get one of those. You want to get one? Can you do that post? <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. Yes, not yet. Okay. Golden Soul. Golden Soul is a celebration of your body and life directly connected to your solar plexus, a place where all your potential for action is born. Do what you love, following the dance of life, and let your brightest light shine inside 
and out. If you feel like you are not reaching your goals as fast as you wish, try looking at things from a different angle. A shift in mindset can lead to new directions and opportunities. Change your vision without expectation and recognize that your situation is a gift to access a new part of you. The one that is awaiting to meet you. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so perfect for me and what I'm going through right now. Wow. What is your card? Oh, oh yeah. The yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, there's that all the really cards resonated. Are like all the way. Yes. Beautiful. And so guys, oh, like, God, if you know people who are looking for art, please recommend. I'm just going to imagine like, you're doing that. Me, recommend, pass my Maybe card I'll work on, on that. Yeah, that'll be the next <laughs> step, yeah. That, that, that woman is waiting to meet you. <laughs> I, I want her back. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yes. Thank you for that. You're welcome. That was beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Is that her? Is that her? Mama. I'm coming home to the place where I belong. I want to be free, so free. We saw the grandmother Pachamama today. She gave me a kiss. Oh my god, what a blessing! Just in the altar room. Crazy, what a coincidence. Mama, I'm coming home.